Thanks, Fletcher. Hello, everyone. I'm Helen Hossein, and I'm a customer engineer on the Chrome browser team. One of the most common questions I'm asked is how organizations with large numbers of devices, operating systems, and browsers can maintain control over Chrome updates to make sure no unexpected conflicts or problems happen. I'm happy to say that the Chrome Enterprise team always does our best to pay attention to the needs of IT admins. So we've designed Chrome browser updates to maximize stability and control for your teams and give you the management flexibility you need to cover all your use cases. Today, I'll be taking you through some techniques for managing updates in Chrome, plus an in-depth look at some of Chrome browser's newest update management features. Here's the agenda for today's session. First, I'll go through some basics. What does Google Update do and how does it work? Then, I'll give you an overview of our release channels and a new policy that lets you change which channel Chrome follows. After that, we'll take a look at the upcoming changes to Chrome's release cycle. Then we'll dive into update management strategies for your organization. Then a couple of new features. We'll do a quick demo of our new version report, and we'll talk about our new version history API before I leave you with some additional resources where you can go for more information. Let's get started. We'll start with Google Update. Google Update is the tool we use to update Chrome and other Google products on Windows. It's a distinct binary from Chrome itself with its own set of policies and its own ADMX templates for them. It doesn't require a separate installation though. It comes packaged with the Chrome MSI. So once you've installed Chrome browser, Google Update is already all set. For Mac, we have an equivalent product called Google Software Update, which works in the same way as Google Update. The initial installation of Chrome browser is about 56 megabytes. An update to the next version, for example, from Chrome 89, to Chrome 90 will be about 10 to 15 megabytes. A minor update is usually somewhere between half a megabyte and three megabytes. If you want to update to a version that is not consecutive, for instance, if you want to jump from Chrome 89 to Chrome 91, you'll have to do a complete new installation. But don't worry, Google Update will handle this for you as well. Chrome's release channels help your organization prepare for new releases by giving you a window into different stages of the release cycle. The stable channel is fully vetted and supported by Google, with minor releases coming out every two to three weeks and major releases coming out every six weeks. Our enterprise release notes tell you what's coming up, so you know what to look out for and test in your organization. You can also sign up to have them delivered right to your inbox. Most of your users should be on the stable channel. We recommend about 5% of your users should be on the beta channel. Beta has also been tested by Google and is fully supported, so there's minimal risk of issues. On the beta channel, you can preview what's coming up in the next release to make sure your company is prepared. There shouldn't be any changes between beta and stable besides bug fixes. Beta is updated weekly with minor changes and major updates happen every six weeks as with stable. Next, we have the dev channel where IT staff can preview new features. These features may never make it to beta or stable, but it'll give you an idea of what we're working on so you can do some early testing. The dev channel is updated once or twice weekly, and because the features are new and minimally tested, it may contain bugs. In M90, we introduce target channel, a new policy that lets you choose between the stable, beta, and dev channels. This makes it easier to manage which versions of Chrome are in your deployment. 
If you need to test out the absolute latest version of Chrome, you can use the Canary channel. Here, developers can try out experimental features as soon as they're available. I should warn you though, Canary is not tested by Google, so it may be unstable. Canary should be used for testing purposes only. We release it daily or when it's built. For more than a decade, Chrome has shipped a new milestone every six weeks, delivering security, stability, speed, and simplicity to our users and to the web. Over time, we've improved our testing and release processes for Chrome and started deploying bi-weekly security updates to improve our patch gap. But soon, it became clear that we could shorten our release cycle and also deliver new features more quickly. Chrome will be moving from a six-week release cycle to a four-week release cycle. The change is planned for Q3, and we want to give enterprises the time to plan accordingly. There are many usability and security benefits that come with this change. For administrators who want a longer cycle to manage updates, we will add a new extended stable option with milestone updates every eight weeks. Security updates on extended stable will still be released every two weeks to fix important issues, but some security positive changes and new features available with the four week option may not be included. If you want to stick with the safest option, it's best to stick with stable over extended stable. Starting in N94, target channel will also include the option to switch to the extended stable channel. Let's go into a bit more detail about strategies for managing Chrome updates. Chrome's update management strategies fit broadly into three categories, auto updates, version pinning, and full manual updates. You don't need to take an all or nothing approach. You can assign different strategies to different areas of your organization to help you achieve the right balance of effort, control, and security. Strategy number one, auto update, is our recommended best practice. It's what most of our customers do and what Google does internally. With this strategy, all your users receive critical security fixes and new features as they become available. There's no need to manually deploy each release and security patch or to centrally manage them the browser will update itself. Because Chrome is always up to date, using auto update reduces the risk of crashes and security vulnerabilities, and your users will always be on a supported version of Chrome. Don't forget, you can test each new version of Chrome for up to six weeks before each stable release using our beta channel. Remember to subscribe to our release notes so you know what's coming. The only downside to this approach is if your organization is bound to more controlled processes due to business or legacy requirements that take longer than six weeks to complete. We'll talk about how you can accommodate those sorts of processes with the next strategy. Strategy number two centers on version pinning. Most customers who use this strategy are only doing so within specific organizational units. Again, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing approach. Version pinning accommodates change management betting cycles that take longer than six weeks while still keeping the manual effort associated with updating Chrome to a minimum. This approach can be especially useful for exception users who need a specific version of Chrome. The risk, of course, is if you pin to an older version of Chrome, that version may lack critical fixes and may not be supported. This is the more traditional method of manually pushing a new version after internal vetting. Like version pinning, this strategy accommodates longer change management vetting cycles, 
but it can also be used in extremely locked down environments where there's no internet access and Chrome is used for internal web apps only. There are a number of risks to this strategy though. First of all, there is a significant manual effort. Not only is that time consuming, but you should also bear in mind that all manual processes are prone to error. Security and bug fixes won't be received by these browsers automatically, so there's a risk they'll miss a critical fix. If these users are still on an older version of Chrome, the version they're on may not be supported. And if you run into a problem requiring a rollback, you'll have to have access to an older MSI in order to perform that rollback manually. As you've seen in the previous sessions, Chrome Browser Cloud Management provides a variety of insights about your Chrome fleet. Let's take a look at one of our newest reporting features, the Vision Report. The Vision Report allows you to easily see all the versions of Chrome running in your domain. This report will be populated if you've enabled reporting for your Chrome browsers and devices. To view the Vision Report, go to admin.google.com and sign in. From the menu, go to Devices, then Chrome, then Reports, and click on Versions. Here, you'll see a list of all the major and minor versions of Chrome across Windows, Mac, Linux, and Chrome OS. This list is automatically filtered to show the most recently active devices by default. To see all available data, remove this filter. If you want more information about a particular version on a specific OS, click on that group. This will take you to the Managed Browsers page, where you can click into any browser that you'd like more details about. We also have a new API to help provide even more insight into the Chrome versions in your deployment. Our Version History API is a web service API for retrieving information about Chrome versions and releases. It is a REST API that returns information as JSON. You can use this to get additional information across platforms, versions, and releases. That's the latest on update management. If you want more information on anything we talked about today, you can find links to additional resources below the video. Since I'm the last speaker, I also get the honor of wrapping up the event. Thanks for joining us today for the debut of Chrome Insider. We hope you learn some new techniques for managing Chrome in your enterprise. Two final notes. As you can see, there's a survey to the side of the screen with a few questions about today's presentation. Your input is super important to us. So we'd appreciate it if you could take the time to fill out the survey. Lastly, if you want to stay up to date with the latest Chrome browser announcements, Sign up for our release notes to get new release information right in your inbox. Here's that URL. You can also find it in the resources section below. Thanks again for joining us. And on behalf of Parisa, Alex, Fletcher, and myself, I wish you a pleasant and productive rest of your day.